It is a never-ending cycle, a fight dragging on over the years. Why the judiciary and the legislature never seem to find middle ground remains a question only the two arms of government can resolve in the doctrine of separation of powers. Their new battleground, the Powers, Privileges and Immunity Act of 2017, that shields parliamentarians from court processes and orders, so much so that they often take refuge within the precincts of parliament if sought after in arrest cases. Today, the High Court is stamping its authority after former LSK boss Apolomboya went to court last year to seek the nullification of the two sections. The first being Section 7 that states no process issued by any court in Kenya in the exercise of its civil jurisdiction shall be served or executed either within the precincts of parliament while either one or both houses are sitting or through the speaker or any other officer of parliament. The second, Section 11, that holds no proceeding or decision of parliament or the Committee of Powers and Privileges acting in accordance with this act shall be questioned in any court. Justice Mat- finding these two sections unconstitutional. Such decisions or legislation may have far-reaching implications on the citizens, including affecting the citizens', uh, the citizens constitutionally guaranteed rights. Parliamentary decisions may affect the way the country is governed and or affect the citizens' rights. Parliamentarians wasting no time in a rejoinder. Majority Leader Aidan Duale describing it as illegal, says pressings of Parliament Waldover are regarded as areas of privilege. The judiciary cannot dictate how the affairs of another arm of government conducts its affairs. The judiciary, he says, wants to prefect the other two arms of government and people must resist judicial activism and rogue judicial officials acting with impunity. National Assembly Minority Whip Jeanette Mohammed says when a committee of the House is dealing with a bill or any other legislation, they're interrogating the matter on behalf of the full House. Any matter must go through the plenary of the House and question put for it to be considered to have been passed by Parliament. Any interference before that stage is obstructing the House to execute its constitutional mandate and no authority has that kind of power. Senate Minority Whip Mutula Kilonzo Jr. says the ruling must be challenged. It is unheard of. The only time anyone violated this principle is when Jean-Marie Serone was arrested and when they attempted to harass Shikuku. And Kikuyu MP Kimani Shungwa adds the courts are not superior to parliament and the chief justice should step down or take early retirement if he can't call the judiciary to order. Such a ruling is inconsequential. What it means is that even if parliament is in session, any person can serve a court process in parliament. Secondly, it also means that any person can challenge the decision of a parliamentary committee. In his judgment, Justice Mativa noted that the sections were meant to infringe on citizen rights to access courts in a bid to challenge controversial decisions made by parliament and special parliamentary committees. The court therefore pronouncing that the sections violate the constitution, hence null and void, and that parliament is only mandated by the constitution to make laws while the same constitution grants the court's powers to supervise the laws and no one is afforded a blanket immunity under the supreme law. Jackie Maribe for the big question.